everybody, it's Nick with Bug Outdoors. Today I want to do a video comparing uh, MTV Pro and LTV XL bass box. These aren't regular boxes, these are the new subscriber boxes, so they're a little different than your everyday month. So I wanted to show you uh, what you get in each for a new subscriber, not a regular subscription. Uh, they are both the extra large versions. Uh, this is the Pro, this is the XL. So uh, we'll do the Lucky Tackle box first. Now just so you know, I ordered them both on the exact same day and the Lucky Tackle box took about a week longer to get here, okay? We'll do the Lucky Tackle box first. I have to open it. I'm sitting in my boat because it's nighttime and I don't really have anywhere to film this that's not loud. Uh, so it is what it is. Alright, so comes like all of them do, uh, wrapped up. Let's see. Digest in here. So we have uh, progressive insurance if you want insurance. And here's what's in the box. So first is shallow balsa minnow. Now, just so you guys know, I am a very amateur fisherman and I probably won't even have any idea how to use any of this stuff unless it's just cast out and reel in. So leave me a comment down below on tips on how to use this or any suggestions on good stuff for beginners. All right, so we'll get to it. Shallow balsa minnow. So it looks like just a little crankbait. Uh, it says, it's by Bagley. This looks like something even I can use. Um, I don't see too much going on with it. Price is $9.99. It's a nice color. All right, so that's the first in the box, the shallow balsa mill. Next is a Rage Magnum Bug. bug thing in here so let's see so that's going to be this it's like a big creature creature bait uh, the price is $5.49 looks like maybe something you throw in a jig which again I don't have any idea how to use jigs yet so they look good it says coffee scented drink coffee like that so there not bad looking it's a good color it's like a, a greenish color all right so that's that and it doesn't smell like coffee even though it's supposed to next is stellar jig company rover it's this little uh, black and blue jig it's a little football head jig a four out hook this would be great with uh, your Rage. I'm guessing that's why they come together. Now the price on this is $4.99. I need to learn how to use jigs, so recommend me some good videos on how to use jigs. All right, so next we have Express Bug. That's this here, it's a Cabin Creek Bait Company. Again, it's just a little creature bait uh, trailer type jig. Just a rubber smell. These ones have much more slime to them, or whatever you call it. Um, my local ones, I think this probably would work pretty good. I like the dark green colors. Um, again, this is a $3.99. Now we have a prop frog. So I've never used a prop, a frog, um, and I've always wanted to. So uh, this is nice looking. It's a dark green, and the bottom is yellow and white. Now the feet on this are props, propellers. So, is that good? I have no idea, but it looks cool. It sounds cool. Let's see, let me get this open for you. All right, so it's got a trailing hook also. Here's your little prop frog, uh, propeller feet. It's a soft body. Looks nice. I'm gonna have to try it, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Is this something you just reel back, or do you have to work this? Let me know down below. Uh, the price on this. 
$8.99. All right. Uh, next, we have a Katana 3 out hooks. So these are just hooks. These would be good for my soft plastic. Some of them I have. I actually ran out the other day, so this is nice to have. Uh, these are $5.99. They're expensive hooks, at least for me. I buy most of the stuff at the big box store. And then a $1,000 bait for $5.99. Now, I don't know why it's a $1,000 bait if it costs $5.99. It sounds to me like a $5.99 bait. Basszilla. All right, so it's a little segmented uh, swim bait. It's got some rattle. Two triple hooks, front one's red. Uh, I, I've used one of these that's like a bluegill in a, in a lake I fish locally, and it actually worked. I was quite surprised that it did work. But it did. So this is my $1,000 bait that costs $5.99. Somebody explain that to me in the comments. I don't understand why they say $1,000 bait. Maybe there's something I'm missing. All right. And that's it. No stickers, no anything else. Okay, so I'll add all this up and uh, tell you later. Next, we'll compare the MTB Pro Box. See how it stacks up to the LTB XL Bass Box for a new subscriber. Okay, guys, so now we have the MTB Pro new subscriber box. This was ordered the exact same day as I ordered the LTB XL box. This came about a week earlier. Um, let's, uh, let's open it up. say just on the packaging I like the look of the MTB Pro box better. I have seen where people get different color LTV boxes. Uh, color don't really matter but I like the MTV better. Alright so this this isn't wrapped up. It comes like this. It's got your, your rule. I believe that's a contest you can enter. Um, that would be nice for me. Yeah. All my fish seem to be smaller than that. So, Alright so we'll get started. First we got the dibble here. All right, so this is the what's in the box. So you get a welcome aboard um, pamphlet. It's just a bunch of information on ordering stuff and got some illustrations on, I guess, how to fish. Maybe that will help me. All right, so there's that. Now we got our, our Dibble Digest. I think it's called Dibble Digest, so we'll start it off. So the first thing is Smart Baits Quick Jerk. Okay, it seems like it has more stuff just by looking at it, but I don't know. Oh, you know what? We'll start first. We got stickers. So that's cool. I'm always a fan of stickers. If you guys have stickers, a fishing channel or uh, any kind of outdoors channel, hit me up and I'll let you send me a sticker. I'll put it on my motorcycle or somewhere on my boat. All right, so already bonus points for stickers. I like it. Okay, so back to this. Uh, quick jerk. Let's see here. I don't know what that is. Quick jerk. I don't see that one yet, so we're going to skip that. The Weston Baby Bite. Okay, so that's this here. Looks like a large bill crank bait, pretty small body. It's kind of a yellowish in color. Baby Bite uh, DR says low floating. Um, I like crankbaits basically because they're easy to use. They don't take a lot of uh, technique other than I, I seem to find a lot of underwater vegetation. All right, so this is $9.99. Doesn't sound like it has much rattle other than the hooks. Um, hooks look, you know, decent size. It's a very large bill. Uh, it says two to four meters deep. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now we'll, we'll skip it. Jenko Fishing Tremor Head and Tremor Shad. Maybe that's this here, that's this. Okay, this looks like a, a large soft body with the jig head, and it's got a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a clear, I don't know if that's a, it looks like it's fixed, so more like a, a bill, help it dive maybe. Um, I really like the colors of this, green works really well around here. So this is $5.99, all right? And I don't know what the hook size is. Um, but it's definitely a, a large enough hook. Okay, once again, that's the Jenko Fishing Trimmer Head and Trimmer Shad, $5.99. All right, next is Mustad Impact Spring Jig. Jig. So that's that, these, they've got the spring and they're weighted up front. Now, again, I don't really jig fish because I don't know how. Uh, I really wish I could. I have several. 
uh, people have given me and I've bought just because, hey, why not have a jig even though I don't know how to use it. So it says spring lock jig head. I don't know if this just helps keep the bait on it or what the spring is for. If you know, let me know down in the comments, okay? Again, I, I really, uh, one of my reasons for starting this channel was hopefully to improve at fishing. I really enjoy fishing. It gets me away from work. However, I don't know what I'm doing. So this is 225, all right? So next we've got the Casco Death Stalker. All right, so that's this here. I don't know how well the colors are showing up um, in my garage and it's night, so it's the best I can really do. So this is 549 Catch Code Death Stalker. It looks like almost like a flat spoon one treble hook. Um, it does have a, a spinner blade on the back. I've never seen anything like this. This is definitely something I, I would like to try. Um, I use a lot of uh, lipless crankbaits where I'm at, where I'm around, which is Northern California, and they work really well, so uh, hopefully this will work good. It, it looks good. Um, I like colors, yellow and black, which seem to work good out here too. So this is 549. Next we've got the Lucky John 3D Macora. Alright, so that's these here. Now these are a weird color. The top is purple, and the bottom is like a chartreuse or a yellow. Uh, four inch, you get four of them. It says they're designed in Japan with real action. So I have no idea how well this is work. I'm guessing that uh, you can use them maybe as a trailer or just a swim bait. Uh, yeah, it says here Carolina jig head drop shot. Okay, well, there you go. I don't know how well this would work. I'll definitely give it a try and I'll, I'll try and do an update later. I don't know about this color. It's a weird color purple and, and yellow. All right, so anyways, these are 333. All right, next we have Yum Crispy Christy Craw. All right, so Yum is a brand of stuff I have a lot because they sell it at Walmart, and that's where I, I shop a lot. So these are uh, blue uh, kind of craw creature baits. Uh, let's see if they have a scent. Some of these, is, it's scary. Let's see. Hard to open, that's for sure. It's not like rubber, all right? So here you go, little blue craw, maybe a trailer jig. Um, I've never caught anything on anything like this, but then again, I don't know how to do it. So uh, we'll give it a shot, we'll see. So these are $1.50, all right. So more bonus points, I found another sticker. All right, so we got a scorpion sticker. I believe that's a brand of one of these. All right, so we got three stickers, okay. So the Smart Baits Quick Jerk, the one I couldn't find, it must be this because it's all that's left. And it says it's a color changing bait. Let's see if I can open this. Okay, yeah, there you go, Smart Baits. So this apparently is a jerk bait. It's got a small bill. Colors are really nice. It's blue and yellow. There's a lot of detail on it. As you can see the bottom's got a red. Let's see. It does have rattle, so. I don't know how to use a jerk bait either. I've got some, I've tried some, I've never even had a bite. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how this changes colors, but uh, that's pretty interesting. So it says if you order here with their code, you get uh, free shipping for Mystery Tackle Box customers. All right, so this is $13.99. So this is a $14 bait. So this bait costs more than my $1,000 bait in the other box. Again, I don't understand that. But anyways, and I see one other thing in here. So, I don't know what this is, some kind of scent, but garlic scent, all right? So some garlic scent, I have no problems with scent, I like scent, um, it's not on here, so take it for what it is, and that's what you get in the NTV Pro uh, new subscriber box, again it is, from what I'm told, it's different than your regular daily subscription box, all right? I'll add these up, I'll let you know the prices, what I paid, and uh, you guys let me know which ones I should continue to get, what's better for a, a, a new fisherman. All right, thanks guys. Okay guys, I added it up, and I also checked what I paid. So for the MTV Pro, I paid $26.99, and the value of the box was $42.54. Okay, um, I know I used a, a coupon for it, I don't remember what the coupon was, uh, but it was probably $10 off, I'm guessing. So for the, uh, Lucky Tackle Box, uh, it's $25.99. I did use a $10 coupon, uh, and it ended up being $17 after taxes. It does take longer to get, um, and the value of it 
Uh, see, I have right here the value was 45.43, so it's a little cheaper, uh, and it's worth a little more. So uh, take that for for what you will. All right. So tell me, which one do you think I should keep getting, the LTB uh, XL or the MTB Pro? Again, I'm very new at fishing. Or I, not new at fishing, but I'm recently getting back into fishing. I haven't fished since I was a teenager, but I was looking for something to get away from work. So let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, uh, like the video, share it, help my channel out. Uh, the more people that watch it, maybe the more advice I can get. Uh, I'll probably do this another month um, and then uh, decide after that, okay? Again, this is Nick with Bug Outdoors. Have a good day, guys.